And this is the crucifix in front of which Saint Padre Pio got his stigmata. He states that on the eve morning of the 20th of September 1918, in the choir, after he had celebrated Mass, he yielded to a drowsiness similar to a sweet sleep. All the internal and external senses and even the very faculties of my soul were immersed in indescribable stillness. Absolute stillness surrounded and invaded me. I was suddenly filled with great peace and abandonment which effaced everything else and caused a lull in the turmoil. All this happened in a flash. While this was taking place, I saw before me a mysterious person similar to the one I had seen on the evening of 5th August. The only difference was that his hands and feet and side were dripping blood. This sight terrified me, and what I felt at that moment is indescribable. I thought I should die, and really should have died, if the Lord had not intervened and strengthened my heart, which was about to burst out of my chest. The vision disappeared, and I became aware that my hands, feet, and side were dripping blood. Letters, Volume 1, 22nd October, 1918, from the booklet Padre Pio, a Holy Priest, by Jim Gallagher, produced by Catholic Truth Society. Somehow, he dragged himself back to his cell. He bound up his wounds as best he could, and for the next day or two, tried his best to keep his hands hidden beneath the long sleeves of his habit. He was suffering both physically and spiritually. <laughs> 